What's going on everybody, Josh Pocock here, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at N8N, and more importantly, how you can connect N8N with local models, such as, well, I mean, leveraging Olama, so you can use Llama 3.1, you can use Mixtral, you can use 5.3, you can use Quen 2, you can really use any single model on Olama in your N8N workflows when you're building out N8N agents, whatever the case may be, let's dive right into it. All right, guys, so I'm going to walk you step by step on how to specifically do this because I've gotten some questions. Um, if you're new to the channel, we upload videos on AI, automation, business growth, etc. And maybe if you're not even new and you just subscribed recently, you maybe even haven't seen some of my other N8N videos. So I'll give a brief intro to N8N and I'm not going to cover everything. All right. I'm, there's a few tools in here that I kind of assume that you may have already know about, or you can check out some of my other videos linked in the description if you want to find out more about that, all right? I have full videos showing you how to self-host N8N. You could do this self-hosted, um, and it's, it's very simple. Also, too, guys, um, so there's a, yeah, anyways, there's a few tools. Let me just get right into it, okay? So first off, this is basically just a very simple workflow I just threw together. It's really not doing anything. As you can see, it's, um, but I just wanted to give kind of the framework for an AI agent. Now, if you're not familiar with AI agents, and actually now I remember what I was going to do, we're going to go to N8N. I'm just going to quickly go over this. So if you're not familiar with N8N, secure AI native workflow automation, blah, blah, blah. You can see here, I'm not going to read through the whole entire um, website, but 400 plus integrations. It's essentially, if you're familiar with Zapier or make.com, it's an alternative to that. You can go on their cloud uh, platform here. There's pricing, whatever. I personally don't care for this unless, unless maybe you're an enterprise and you just really don't care and you want to, you know, you need specific features here. It really doesn't make sense. Just self-host it. And if you're wondering, oh, is it, how's it compared to Zapier or Make? I mean, this is my opinion. Some people, I know there's a lot of Zapier or Make.com fan, fanboys or fan people, whatever. I like those cool tools too. They're great. But my opinion, and it ends way better. Every, like every single metric is just completely dominates it it's funny because like so many people aren't even using it um which is fine but yeah anyways that's that's an idem check out my some some of my other videos on how to self-host it I, also just so you guys know this doesn't really necessarily um 100 i mean actually this could be very easy if you really want to self-host it's super easy i've specific basically said this in my video you can literally just go to coolify you can run one command and then within Coolify, they already have a pre-made template for N8N. So it's really like no excuse. Okay. You just need a VPS and yeah, I mean, you can self-host it on your own local desktop, but I just would not suggest it. Um, but anyways, so now, okay. So I've done videos on N8N before building agents and people ask, how do you connect a llama? All right. It's very easy to connect other models. It's really just like you, uh, enter your credentials. But how do you connect Olama? So first off, um, Olama is basically has a Docker image. So that's there's I mean there's a few different ways you could do it. I'm just gonna show you the way I did it, right? And uh, we're gonna use the Docker image just because this way I did it makes at least from my opinion it makes the most sense for me and my specific situation. It'll probably make pretty good sense for a lot of you guys. Um, but anyways, so what basically we're gonna do is we're going to install Olama in a Docker image on our server. And then long story short, we're just basically going to switch, add the, that Docker container to the same network as our N8N instance for like, assuming that you're using N8N within Docker as well. And if you do do it through Coolify and everything, you're going to be doing it that way. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to run the, uh, we're going to run, well, first off, basically we just run the Docker pull right here. Then we're going to run this command right here and here. So I'll walk you through it. So, okay. So you're going to want to SSH into your VPS and then you're going to want to run Docker pull Olama. So literally link for all these, everything I go over will be in the description down below. So you can just copy and paste, follow along very easy. Docker pull command, so you're pulling the image, right? You can do this right off the get-go, Docker pull the llama, and then you're gonna run. Now this this is dependent based on what server or you know computer you're using. Um, for me, the VPS I'm using right now, it's just 
with a C we're using CPU only, but if it if you're using something that has an NVIDIA GPU, then you just want to follow. Um, I mean, there's there's different options right here, like AMD AMD GPU. Um, so if you do have that, uh, if you're if you have a NVIDIA or AMD, you're gonna want to follow probably these instructions right here, and you just go about running these commands, configure um, everything this way uh, with the NVIDIA Container Toolkit, etc. But let's just say, for example, most most of you or a lot of you probably just say if you want the basics. Um, you're just going to run this CPU only command. So you can literally just copy it and paste it in your terminal, run it. And basically what that's going to do is pull the container and then run the container. All right. So now the container should be running on your server right now. Um, not like, yeah. So, okay. So the way I did it is I just use per portainer just because for me, I like portainer. It's like a nice GUI for Docker. I'm not going to go over like how to install Portainer for this, um, but I did do a video on how to install Portainer. You can check it out on my channel. If I, I may have a link in the description for it if you want to install Portainer. Just it makes things a bit easier, but I'll also go over how you could do that, um, how you could do it without Portainer. It's just you'll just have to run a few more command lines. But basically, once you have, uh, yeah, so the next step is the Portainer thing. So, let me just say um, on my VPS, how do I do so? All right, so this is literally just what I do, just chat GPT it or Claude it, whatever. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna do Docker network LS. This will list your networks, okay? Then you're going to add the container to the desired network. So. Uh, use docker network connect command to add your container to the network so you would have to run docker ps docker ps is going to list out all your docker containers and i'll show you kind of what that looks like um so just to kind of show you it would look something like this so you can see this is a container id and this is a docker image um so you could either put your let's just Keep it for you can either put the container name or the ID here, and um, basically, and I'll leave these commands in the description too, so you can just copy and paste it. So Docker network connect, um, and then you need the network name, and this network name is what you would get from the network name right here when you list the network name. Now the network that you want to connect it to, of course, is your N8N instance. So this is assuming that you already have N8N installed on your server right you could this could be through coolify this could be really anything but let's just say it's coolify you're going to um get that you can, if you're in coolify it, you can see the network that it's account uh listed to you can see that as well in portainer um like if i go to portainer here you can see that this is my olama instance right here this is my olama container and you can see if you scroll all the way down, so you go to containers and then you select your Olama container. Um, if you scroll down, you'll see the networks that it's connected to. So as you can see, it's connected to my bridge network, which is just my, my basics, my server. And then it's also connected to this random, you know, network right here with random um, things. That is the N8N instance, okay? And yeah, so what you would do just in Portainer is you would just click this drop down to select a network and select the network. So it's a lot simpler, I guess, and as from a GUI standpoint, and then you're just going to join the network there. Okay. So I, I hope I, I hope I somewhat explained it. Okay. For you guys, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. But like I said, all the uh, commands that are necessary for you to do this, let's just say you're not using Portainer. Let's just say you're doing it straight through the CLI command line. All the commands will be down there. So just to go over it one more time, you have N8N installed, you have Oloma installed, N8N's in its own Docker container, and then Oloma is in its own Docker container you just spun up, and you're going to Docker PS to get the list of all your containers. You'll be able to see the ID of your, uh, of your Oloma container, and then you're going to... Um, Get your Docker networks, Docker network LS to see the Docker networks. And then you're going to um, 
you're going to basically put the network name right here and the container ID right here, okay? Whatever those are for your specific case, okay? So once you do that, your Olama should be connected to um, the same network as your uh, NADN instance, okay? From that point on, um, what I did is I restarted both um, both of the containers. So you could go into Coolify, restart the container. If you if like I'm not gonna cut, I don't want to like go through every little nitty gritty thing. Like these are basic things. If you don't know how to restart a container, just literally chat GPT the command. Um, because I don't want to make this video too too long. I just want to get get you guys to the um to the point as quick as possible. So yeah. So now that you have the network, the Olama connected to the same network as N8N, you're going to run, um, basically, you're going to run this command, which is, um, which will be in the description down below. Um, so docker x exec, and then dash it, and then this is going to be the ID of the container. So that this is going to be the ID of your, um, of your Olama container. So you're going to ha have the Olama container ID here. And this is basically just allowing you to run a command within that specific container. And what we're going to run is Olama. Uh, and then really, this is where you run whatever model you want to install. So for me, I'm just doing Llama 3.1. So that's Olama run Llama 3.1. But of course, you can go do a Llama and install whatever model you want. Okay. So, um, let's see. So yeah, I did, and this, like I said, will be in the description down below. If, if anything's confusing, please just, you know, look at the description, copy the commands. You should be good. If you have any issues, let me know and I'll do my best to assist you. Um, okay. So now that you ran this, you should have Olama installed on your, um, on your Olama instance, right? Or your Olama container from that point on. We can be in N8N, which is right here, right here. And then we can go to add a node, for example, let's just say like, I mean, this is what I did. I added an AI agent from here. You can connect a chat model. Okay. And as you can see, I just selected Olama chat. And then of course you would go, you would go to your um, credentials right here and your base url so it would say local host um and then the port of olama 1143 or 11434 but you're going to want to put the ip address of your docker container so let me just ask chat gpt how do i get the ip address of a specific docker I think it actually just shows it um container let me see i think docker ps okay well let's see so i guess i think okay well this this uh you can list all running containers so you can run docker ps to obviously get the id and then you just run docker inspect and then the container name or id so you're going to inspect your uh, Olama container to get that IP address. All right, I'll put that in the description too. Um, and then that's going to give the IP address of that specific Docker container running on your server. And then you're just going to put like HTTP, uh, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash that same IP address and then the Olama port. As you can see here, I got Olama, uh, the model Llama 3.1, the latest set 8B model. Um, that's installed on my server. This is the only model right now. This is just a fresh um, in install of Olama. And as you can see, now I can use the chat model or the Olama chat within my N8N workflows. All right, this obviously unlocks a bunch of stuff you can do if, you, if you're a fan of open models, as well as two guys. Like when you're doing N8N workflows, sometimes there's things that, you know, just aren't necessary to run quad Sonnet 3.5 and spend amount of dollars or run gpt 4 what, uh, whatever the case may be right you want to run a local model maybe for privacy purpose whatever right so this um hopefully helps you guys i know a lot of people were asking me about local models with an n8n how do you do it because if you're just running it on your desktop and it's just the um 
it's not like a, a live link uh base url that you can put in so this is how you do it um there's th there's other ways too but this is the way i'm showing you this is a pretty easy efficient way to do it in my opinion but anyways guys hope you got some value from this video i'm going to be doing more videos on n8n as well as other automation stuff so like i said if you're new here we upload videos every single day on ai automation business growth uh ai coding developing whatever the case may be i'm trying to get you guys the best cutting edge information i possibly can so um yeah i've been working on a lot of cool stuff got a lot of cool stuff planned but also too if you guys haven't checked out our free community stridecommunity.com link for that will be in the description down below our free facebook group free discord channel I'm gonna be putting a lot, a lot of cool free resources in there but let me know if there's anything you guys uh, are struggling with with this video i'll do my best to help you guys in the comments down below and let me know if there's anything specific you guys want to see me build out an n8n an n8n and let me know if there's anything specific maybe another integration or something that you are having trouble with or a concept you're trying to wrap your head around with with n8n um i consider myself pretty proficient in like built and having a lot of experience building out different use cases for clients myself etc so um, anything you guys are struggling with, let me know and I will do my best to make a video on it and help you guys out as best as I can. Um, so yeah, other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed. See you in tomorrow's video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.